into the sample and hold modification. That's this board here. It's quite cool. It's got some push pull switches on there. Um, this is going to now replace what we have in the noise generation circuit here the color and the level knob. Um, the trick is trying to get to it. Let me just spin it round. This is the back of the machine here. This is the bottom. These two pots here, they're the ones we have to take out. As you can see, they're right in the thick of it. And the other problem, if I can get in there, the boards we have to take out to get to those pots, they actually have wires attached to them already. So we're going to have to be really careful. That's the bottom one. And that one as well. This is about the only way I can think to kind of hold that lot in place. I think I'm going to have to take some photos as well, just in case anything pops off. So this is going to have to be super delicate operation. I think we're going to just mark down the colours here.
So all we have to do now is reconnect to the main supply, turn her on and hope for the best. Well that's not strictly true, I do know this power supply is outputting plus or minus 24 volts, so we should be okay. So there you have it, a fully repaired and modded VCS3. Everything's working great. There are also these other mods that have been done previously. They're switches that enable you to uh, modulate the oscillators from each other. I don't think there's any more mods that can be done to this. Also we have channel 3 input, so there's an extra socket on the back. And when you flip that switch down, instead of getting the joystick out, we get that CV will appear on the left right joystick output. Which means we can see if we can play chords on this thing. Um, yeah, let's, let's set it up. We we'll use ES3 voice controller in poly mode. And we'll only have one gate. But if we play three notes at a time, then the, it will always trigger on that chord. So let's have a look at that. Well, that was actually a lot of fiddling around to see what the best way to do it was, because I think this is something like 0.33 volts per octave or something. And it gets really fiddly if you try and attenuate using the pots. This one, Channel 1, has got a 10-turn multi, so you can get quite good results with that. But because the Channel 2 is coming through this one and Channel 3 is coming through this, I found it much... It better results if we keep those turned up and on silent way for the pitch output we'll have that at 0 0.30 and that way I was able to get some uh, nice tuning On there instead of coming out there, go into the reverb and So the moral of the story is, if you want to control this um, in tune with lots of oscillators, you really do need to buffer the matrix here. And uh, what a great job that Portobello Labs did on that. Very easy and excellent results. I think the owner is going to have fun when he gets this back. Thanks for watching.